Hi there everybody, I'm Dr Ian Dunbar and welcome to the Dunbar Academy Mailbag. Today we have a question from Andy. I'm working on bite inhibition stage 1, reducing bite strength. Um, it's actually stage 2 with my 16 week old Springer Spaniel but getting rather worried that I'm not getting much improvement. I say ouch and try to be calm when she bites hard but she just seems to get more excited and bites more. She does not bite hard at all times but does it enough to make it an issue. Uh, yes this is an issue Andy and this is a very timely question so I'm, I'm glad I got this one because if I'd got this two months later I'd just think oh dear. Anyway here we go. So stage one is when the dog hurts you. The feedback you give to that is different from stage two when you're reducing the pressure of the bites or the force of the bite. So stage one, ow, worm, that hurt me. I mean, you yelp, it's okay, the same way a puppy does. You know, watch the dogs play together. You know, I was watching a video of this, two Malamutes playing, an adult with a Malamute, and it, it got too much, and oh, that's it, play session stops. Little puppy yelps, you know, can't play with the big boys. So you yelp, don't grab it, don't scream, but ow, that hurt me, you worm. Okay, now we move to stage two, which is now we're just going to react to um, the harder bites. Well, we're actually gonna to react to all the bites. If they're gentle bites, we're gonna say, there's a good girl, you be gentle, good dog, there's a good girl. What if it bites too hard? You say, ow. That hurt me, worm. Now, it didn't actually hurt you, you're lying, but it was harder than the rest. So I actually used the words, ow, that hurt me, you worm. I'm sorry, this is what I do. Now, what happens if the dog comes straight back at you? This is uh, it actually, it's very good that a Springer's doing this because a lot of Springer's don't bite hard. And that's the big problem. They don't bite hard, they've been bred to have soft mouths, so they don't develop good bite inhibition. The good news here is this Springer is hurting you and you're gonna teach it really good bite inhibition. So you're gonna have a Springer with safe jaws. So that's very important with all the retriever dogs. You know, they've been bred to have soft mouth and nearly every bite case, when I've gone back through the history, oh well she didn't mouth very much, or she's so gentle when she mouthed as a puppy, yeah so she never hurt you, so she never hurt. Okay, that's why I love crazy Labradors and pit bulls, you know, because man they're going to play over the top and they're going to hurt you lots, but the more they hurt you in puppyhood, the safer their jaws are going to be as adults. Now what if you say ouch, ow that hurt you know, and they get more excited if they come back. So like a little pit bull says, hey, I got a squeaker here, look, I bite them and ow, they squeak. I love this game, you know. Um, there's only one punishment that's suitable to this. And what you say is, I give an ASL signal, finish. I say, get out of my sight. You've lost me. And I leave the room and I just storm out. I'm not staying around with you. Then I shut the door, I usually count about three or four seconds, that's all. And the little pup's looking at the door like, what happened there? Having a perfectly good game. You know, I bit him, he yelp, so I bit him again. And then he goes finish and leaves. After about five seconds, I come in and say, yeah, you come here. I'm not very pleased with you. That hurt me, and I told you that hurt, and you bit me again. Talk to the dog. You know, let the dog know how you feel in this tone. I want you to calm down. So you come and sit. Always the makeup. Come and sit. So we know we didn't overdo it with, you know, our feedback to the dog. They come happily and they sit. Again, proximity, it tells you everything about the relationship. It's, it's your microscope to look into the relationship. Come, sit. Let's have a little obedience. Down. Sit up. Down. All right, we can play again, but you be gentle. Okay, and off we go again. So remember that, losing you, for a dog that's enjoying play at this level, you know, and after getting over the top, losing you is the one thing they can't deal with. You know, they, they, there's nothing that you can really do to an excited dog, apart from fright the life out of it or hurt it, which we obviously don't want to do, that would be really stupid, but it, it just ain't gonna listen. But losing you, the game ends, one transgression, and I, I continue this through um, to adult dogs when I'm playing tug with them. You break one rule, like if you touch the object before I say take it, 
I just say, finish. And I point to, it's the lower step in the garden, which I call the penalty spot. I got this idea from hockey. I say, penalty. The dog now has to lie there and have a one or two minute penalty while I'll play tug or tag or chase with another dog. You know, it's okay to talk to your dog. And it's okay to tell your dog you're upset. This thing has crept into dog training that we can never say boo to a goose. No, it's okay to say, ow, that hurt me. You know, and if the dog comes back and bites you again, ow, finish, I'm out of here. You lost me. And I come in and say, now, you convince me to continue playing with you. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're going to come and you're going to sit and look at me, right? And if you can't do that, back to the drawing board. Let's do some more obedience training. But we certainly won't start playing again till we got the dog under control. Then I would break the play session a lot. You know, you don't play with the dog till he gets to the point of being out of control. No, you play with the dog and you keep him fairly calm below the threshold, then down and settle, tranquilo. Time to go over his body to examine the ears treat, muzzle treat, paws treat, belly rub, rear end, ghoulies, scratch the butt, give him a hug, give him a kiss, stare in his eyes treat, then we play again. So we want to have time for play, but in the active play it has to learn to inhibit the force of its jaws with lots of integrated little timeouts, short calm moments where we calm the dog down. So I'm glad I got this question right away. Hopefully you'll get it by my answer by the end of the day. So thank you very much, Andy. Time sensitive. And thank you, everybody else, for listening. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com and check out our selection of free dog training and behavior courses. If you'd rather watch some more videos here on YouTube, click right over here or here. And if you want to watch our new videos as we post them, click here to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell.